Hey guys, welcome to the wing thing overview video. Uh, here I'm just going to show you how to use the wing thing. Uh, so this is a fletching jig used for fletching spin tight veins. And today I'll show you how to fletch these veins using this jig. Here we have the jig itself. There are a few adjustments that we have to do before fletching arrow. First is the arrow height adjustment, the rotation adjustment, and the fletch placement adjustment. So to do the first arrow height adjustment, we need to put an arrow into the jig, making sure that the end cap is on the tip of the arrow. From here, we can tilt the jig to its side to see if the arrow shaft is parallel with the body. If it is not parallel with the body, you can undo this screw here and move the shaft up and down. Once that is in position, what you can do now is change the rotation position of the knock. Okay, so if you want your fletcher slightly lower or slightly higher, you can do so with this adjustment. So all you need to do is undo the screw at the back, rotate it using the marks, and then tighten the screw lightly. Once these two adjustments are in place, we can get a clamp and see where the fletch will land. The end of the fletch will be on the tip of this side of the clamp, and you can adjust this up and down as well using this screw down here to change the position of the fletch. From here, we can grab the clamp, load in a fletch, aligning it with the first bump like so, and making sure it's touching all of the other bumps along it. We now grab a piece of tape, stick it on one end, and down the fletch and making sure that it's on. You can now grab a knife and cut the ends of the tape like so and remove the tape. If you do purchase extra clamps, you can load them and have them prepared for quicker fletching. From here, we can grab the clamp, peel off the tape, like so, put it onto the clamp, slide it towards the shaft, press firmly while supporting the shaft, and slowly pull it back. And there we have one vein. To do the next vein, you pull out the knock indexer, put it to the next number, and you can load your next fletch, like so. Again, put it onto the slider, push firmly into the shaft, and pull back slowly. And one more time, number two, again, pushing into the shaft firmly, and pulling back slowly. And that will do all three fletches.